the only bloody works. <laughs> Instagram you'll have seen the progress, slow progress, that I've been making over the last six months or so on this thing here, which is my new Y6. I'm happy to say that at the weekend I finally had decent weather and free time to take it for its maiden flight. Uh, everything went way better than I expected, so it's time to share some details about a successful project rather than another Ardicopter based crash. So this is a Y6, which means it's a hexacopter, but instead of having six arms each with one propeller, it has three arms, like a tricopter, each with two motors in a coaxial counter-rotating arrangement, where all the top motors spin clockwise and all the bottom motors spin counterclockwise. Now the construction of this is based around um, a custom carbon fibre sort of hub design, which um, I designed and had cut by a CNC factory in Shenzhen, China, and the design is a tribute to or an homage to the the old Anycopter design from Flight Test. Uh, if you don't know who Flight Test are, they've been around producing RC flight videos on YouTube since 2010, I think, so long predating the whole mini quad craze. And, and back then, we didn't have cheap, decent carbon fiber frames, which you can buy for $30 or whatnot. And it was much more common for people to use bits of wood and plywood from the hardware store to build multi rotor frames. So in 2013, uh, Flight Test released this free design called the Anycopter, which was two circular plywood plates with holes at different angles, which you would have laser cut from thin plywood. And you would take two of them and sandwich your bolt through a bunch of you know, square ply um, hardwood booms to make the arms of your frame. And depending upon how many arms you used and what angles you used, you could have a tricopter, a quadcopter, a pentacopter, a hex, an octo, whatever you wanted. Now, I always liked that idea, and I wanted to kind of update it for 2019 whilst also paying you know, tribute to the original. So I sort of took their design, updated it, had it cut in carbon fibre, and added some bits and pieces to make it more applicable to modern mini quad electronics. Now, I don't know how to use any proper CAD packages, so I actually did this design using SketchUp. Uh, I started with the, the same basic diameter, I think, as the original uh, Anycopter and I included all of the same mounting hole angles for the arms. But then in addition, I added mounting holes for both 20 by 20 and 30.5 by 30.5 electronic stacks, and also mounting holes for uh, standoffs to mount a top plate in the way that um, you know, your standard freestyle frame has a top plate. Uh, the top plate I kept quite simple, so it has a cutout in the front for the FPV camera, it has slots for battery straps going in both directions, so three sets going across this way for batteries mounted lengthwise, but also two sets this way for batteries mounted toilet tank style. Uh, I contacted a, a bunch of carbon fibre companies in the UK, all of whom claim to do small batch bespoke one-off you know, carbon fibre CNC for the hobby community. Um, most of them didn't respond at all. One of them finally did, but never sent me an invoice, so I couldn't go ahead with it. So in the end, I contacted a factory in Shenzhen, China, and even though it was Chinese New Year when I actually first made contact, they uh, cut me three sets, so six circular pieces and six of these top plates, uh, really quickly. I think 10-day turnaround, including delivery, uh, for a really decent price, and actually the quality is... It's pretty decent. It's not the best carbon fiber I've ever had, but it's definitely not the worst. And for the price, it's actually pretty decent. Oh, these central holes, by the way, are quarter inch sized. So they're designed to take a standard tripod bolt. 
so you can very quickly and easily mount uh, anything you want to these plates just by putting a tripod bolt through and bolting onto the other side. Now of course because the, the circular plates are the same top and bottom it means you can have one of these top plates on the top but also on the bottom so uh, as you'll see on the Y6 I built I have one of these on the bottom on shorter standoffs uh, that way you can swap between having a top mount battery or a bottom mount battery or both to run them parallel and you can decide whether you want to have cameras and payloads on the top or bottom. I decided to build a Y6 as my first copter with this carbon for a couple of reasons. Uh, mainly because I think that three armed copters just look inherently cool in the sky. I have the RC Explorer uh, Tricopter V4 and I've also built a a ZMR based a Y4 with um, coaxial motors on the back and there's just something about that Y or T shape that just looks really good in the sky but because I had done a try and a Y4 already I figured the next option was a Y6 and also one of my all-time favorite flight test videos was where they used the uh, either the Anycopter or the um, Electra Hub which was the the PDB version that followed to build um, tricopters with their tough tilt servo mounts and also a Y6 and since then I've wanted to, to do something similar. In order to help me drill the holes in the booms and cut the angles correctly for parts such as, as this where the, the landing gear attaches to the boom, I designed and 3D printed a bunch of really simple jigs just to put the holes in the right places and then drill through and to to put the blade of the saw in the right position. Um, I started off making them quite thin like this, uh, but then I ended up going to really thick ones like this. And the reason for that is that I don't own a, a drill press, a pillar drill. So trying to get um, perpendicular holes through 15 millimeter uh, booms was quite hard. But I found that if I just made a really thick um, section for the drill bit to go through first, that would help to keep the drill bit perpendicular. So these just sit on the end of the, the wooden booms. You can put a piece of electrical tape around the middle to hold them in place. You can then drill through to get the nice perpendicular holes at the correct spacing from each other and from the end so that all the motors are the same distance in from the, the tips of the arms. Oh, incidentally, these um, plates here are not carbon, these little um, sort of this shape plate. These are just printed in PET-G, rigid ink PET-G. Uh, I could have done them in carbon, but I imagined that myself and other people would want them in all sorts of different angles, so I didn't want to just have one uh, carbon version at 60 degrees and then discover that I wanted 45 or something. All of these files are going to go up on Thingiverse, so both for the, the carbon fibre parts and for all of the, uh, the jigs and brackets to help with construction. Um, it's so heavily based off of on, or inspired by the original um, free Anycopter design for flight test It only seems right that I share everything that I've done to it with uh, the community should they wish to give it a go themselves mm -hmm.